Have you ever wanted to embed a video inside of an email newsletter in MailChimp? I know I have, and the way that I had previously done it was to take a screenshot of the video playing inside of YouTube, paste that in as an image inside of my newsletter template, and then link the photo. But MailChimp can simplify part of this process for us. So here you'll see is a video that I have in a newsletter I just sent out to my clients. I'm going to click on this to show you that when we do, it still opens up into YouTube. And what you'll need to know, I'll copy while I'm here. Let's turn that off. In the top area, you see that there is, in this address bar, something after where it says watch equals V question something, something, something. I want to copy these numbers. And then what we'll do is if we go back to the dashboard, we would click to create a campaign. As we're going through creating the campaign, we'll select whatever style it is. Obviously text wouldn't be what's working here, but I'll say I'm sending it out to this list. Give it a name. And then what you need to do is specifically when you get down to the more options, there is something that says auto convert videos. This may work for you. You could test it out. So auto convert is if you get the embed code and you drop the embed code into your newsletter in the HTML style, that might work. I don't know that it necessarily will. I generally keep this enabled uh, and then go through with finishing out the rest of the template as I'm building it. And then when you get down to here is my newsletter that I have written all my content about and hit update on it. You'll see that here is my YouTube video code. And right over here on the right hand side as I'm editing that box, you see this thing. It says YouTube. And then here is that code that I copied from the YouTube player. And I've set the maximum width. So when I do that, though it still looks like this inside of the body of my newsletter while I'm editing and creating it, when I go to test it and or send it in the top area, if I were to go through the, all the rest of this, I could do a preview and test or email it to myself and see if it looks all right. That's where the YouTube video actually gets embedded and it will just grab a screenshot and automatically link you out to where that video is. Now, if you wanted to control a little bit more than just the YouTube player number, I'll link to the help file for you. But the help file is basically this. You could say, here is the basic standard style of how you want to control it, but you could do a lot more. You could set what the title is. And so up here, I'm seeing that I could go in and set the title and the border and all of these other features. So it depends on how advanced that you really want to go with that. But the bare minimum is YouTube and then link to the ID of that video. This works for other places besides YouTube as well. So the ones that they're listing are Wistia, uh, Vizar, which is something specific, it seems, um, Vimeo, and Blip.tv. So if you are using any of those players, then you could actually go in and set some of the different services. So again, take a look below this video. You'll find a link to get to this article inside of MailChimp.